Okay guys, um, I'm making this video because I want to demonstrate exactly how to go about rounding, joining the intersections, the corners, um, it, uh, she calls it in the video we watched, uh, on your neurographic scribble design. So uh, what happens is this, just like in, in the video and just like we talked about, I'm going to draw a meandering, wandering, curvy line that crosses over itself several times. And at some point, it goes off the paper. So I start on one side of the paper, I wind around, I crisscross over, and I go off another side of the paper. Um, I'm going to add another one now. Sometimes um, you can make one long meandering scribble and you don't need to make another two, another uh, second or third line on your paper. I found generally though you do. So it really, it's what you want to do and how yours comes out. As far as this goes, there's really no right or wrong. All right, so I see I have some negative space here, empty here, a little empty there. Let's do this. I'm going to start over here. And I'll come down, make a loop, I'll go over here, I'm going to cross it over here, and I'm going to go off there. And I'll add one more. All right, notice I'm going fairly slow. Um, I'm kind of going actually quicker than I would like to do if I was actually making a neurographic project for myself. I would just go real slow, you know, just enjoy the process, try to feel the pencil on the paper. And uh, there's no rush. It's not a quick scribble. You know, it's not, it's not um, something you do quickly. Just take your time. Let it go the way it wants to go. And, you know, you, you do it slow. So here we go. Rounding, joining the corners, joining the corners. Um, in other words, the intersections where the lines crisscross each other. So I have a Sharpie. This is what happens. Um, I'm going to start, first thing I do is start going over the pencil lines with Sharpie. This makes them fatter, bolder, and um, uh, I think that it has a look to it that looks great for this. I think bolder lines are better. So I don't necessarily, I don't want to use a fine point Sharpie for this. I want to use, you know, a regular old Sharpie like I have now. All right, so here we go. We got an intersection here. What happens with these intersections is this. Um, there's four rounded curves generally you want to make for each intersection. So I just put a curve there, one, two, three, and four. You can see it kind of forms like a diamond shape, like a rounded diamond. And uh, next thing I do is color that in. After I colored it in, I found when I was doing mine that I like to go over it again, just kind of smooth it out. If it gets fatter, that's totally okay. In fact, that has a cool look to it. If it looks kind of, I like the curves. There's something that, I don't know, like when I, when I first found out about this, this exercise, and then I actually did it, I was like, wow, this is actually, it's like they said it was, like I read about it. It's just kind of relaxing. It's cool. Um, it's, I, it brought me right into the moment. I really wasn't thinking about anything else when I was doing all this rounding and uh, joining of the intersections, joining of the corners, as they say in the video we watched. So again, I'm gonna go over the line I'm going to create, there's my intersection. I'm going to go over it with Sharpie. And then I'm going to draw four curves. One, two, three, four. They do not have to be all equal curves. This one you can see is, a, is different than this one. Um, this one's a little kind of um, warped. And that's fine. There's no, it's totally fine. There's no right or wrong to doing this. Well, actually, the reason why I'm making this video is because I noticed when I did this first marking period, there was a bunch, several people who didn't quite get this concept or didn't quite get the look of it, the way it's presented, the way this Russian psychologist designed the exercise to be. And some people were drawing like blobby kind of blobs on their intersections that look like this, or like kind of, I saw some people doing kind of rounded squares, and you know, then they would outline the lines like this. It's a very different look to it, and it doesn't quite, it. this is very organic. This is, 
it's not the way the lesson and, and um, the exercise was presented. So, so um, what, what, it, what, what this um, psychologist, this Russian guy said, what he theorized was that when we do this and when we create this look of that reproduces the, the look of the neural maps in our brain, it actually, when we do, when we draw it out, it actually supposedly opens up new neural pathways in our brain. And, um, and I found that when I did it, it, it like, it really, like, it kind of, I felt like, I just felt relaxed. It was fun. I was, I kind of just totally brought me into the moment, into the present. And I really enjoyed it. Like I played with mine a lot when I was doing mine. I went over each one a few times. I kept rounding the, I went over, I remember going back several times and doing stuff like this. I would go over it, round it some more. I would round it over here. And then I would go all the way around a section with my Sharpie. So it would turn into this cool, organic looking oval shape. And notice that it got that section got smaller, right? And that's totally cool. That is to me was very pleasing to the eye, and it just has a nice feel to it. Um, so again, one more time, intersections. Here's a loop. So I'm going to outline the loop, and this is all slow. We don't rush. We don't want to rush this. 90% of creating great art is patience, guys. And this is a project you can just enjoy. You know, it's not like, it's not difficult uh, as far as like skillfully challenging. Um, it's something that anybody can do and have success with, that's for sure. So again, one curve, two curve, three curve, four curve, right? Four curves, kind of a diamond shape. I color it in and you know, then I keep going. One curve two curve, three curve, four curve. This one is very different than that one. And you know, when it looks rough, mine's kind of chunky looking and rough. Uh, I, don't, I don't know if you can see that on the video, but to me, it makes me immediately want to just go back and slowly kind of round it out, give it that nice organic look. And you know, then I just keep going. Okay, so this is the way we join the intersections, round the corners in our neurographic project. All right, guys, thanks.